As you may know, Mabel, my two-year-old female Syrian hamster, was put to sleep on March 6th. Her quality of life was no longer there as she had lost all of her muscle mass, was eating less, and her squinting eyes indicated that she likely was in pain. Now because of this, I thought it would be a good time to discuss what to do after your hamster has passed away and how to sanitize old supplies in order to use them for other animals safely. No matter what, losing a pet can be difficult and grieving comes in many ways. If you don't find yourself traditionally sad about the loss of your hamster, that is okay. And if you cannot stop crying, that is also okay. Once your hamster has passed, you will have two options, cremation or burial. Cremation is done at your local vet clinic and typically can be on the pricier side. Therefore, many people end up choosing to bury their hamster. If you don't have a yard or somewhere you can bury your hamster, you can choose to get a deep plant pot to bury them in, and that way you can also have a flower bloom from it. Now, if you decide you want another hamster or to use some accessories with your other pets, don't worry, you don't have to buy new ones and you can reuse your current things. Starting with the cage, first thing is to clean it out thoroughly. Already used bedding should not be used again with another hamster. Once you've got all the accessories and bedding out, depending on the material your cage is made from is how you'll go about cleaning it. Glass and plastic enclosures can be cleaned with soap and hot water or diluted vinegar. As for a wooden enclosure, now if you know your hamster has passed from something possibly contagious, I would be less inclined to reuse it. But if your hamster passed of natural causes, then I would use diluted vinegar to wipe it down and let it air dry for a couple of days. If there are any sort of stains, you can use sandpaper to try and remove them. Moving on to accessories, plastic and ceramic items are easy as most can be washed with soap and water or put through the dishwasher. Wooden items like cork logs, bridges, fine wood, willow tunnels, platforms, chamber hides, etc. are also capable of being reused. If your hamster has peed on any, I would first start by wiping it down with a wet cloth. If you used a hamster safe varnish on it, it should be relatively easy to wipe off. At the end of Mabel's life, she did start peeing a lot on the top of her hideout, but because I had a varnish on it, it wiped off really, really easily as you can see. If you didn't use a varnish, once again, using a bit of sandpaper can help remove some of the stainings. Now to sanitize them, you can put them in the oven. This might be shocking to most people because obviously wood plus heat equals fire, but this is only the case in high temperatures. Wood in an oven only ignites after a few hours in temps of 450 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, and we'll only be putting the oven at no higher than 200 degrees Fahrenheit for around 30 minutes. If you choose a lower temp, you'll want to bake it for longer, and to be safe, keep an eye on the oven just to be safe while baking the items. Also, yes, a lot of the times I use my bare hands when taking items out. Just remember, the oven is hot and doing this is at your own risk. If you're unable to use the oven, you can instead boil wooden items, but this may be trickier with larger wooden items and can take longer since you'll need to air dry them after. And there you go, you now have a bunch of sanitized hamster items that you're capable of reusing. Hopefully this video has been able to help you guys if you've recently just had a hamster pass, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!